are making recycled wind chimes at my son's school so when I saw the thread banger uh, DIY to make your own flower ones I thought ooh I could do that and I've added I've actually cut the bottle center into um, a spiral and that's like garlands and these are the base of the bottles cut into flowers and leaves and these are the tops and they cut into like a big daisy so I'm going to show you how to make those and thank you Threadbanger it was a great idea and I enjoyed making them and we're going to take them for show and tell tomorrow for my little boys grade one class let's see how I've just painted it with acrylic paint and just use the scissors to cut the petals very simple this is what you need to make your flower garland uh, wind chime sun catcher whatever you want to call it you need any size plastic bottle one and two liters work well whatever you've got um, I've got some green styled sort of paper raffia for tying but anything would work fishing line um, you know a parcel ribbon uh, some paint pressures for painting um, hole punch to put some hole punch scissors a blade if you think you need to get started for cutting the bottle it is handy but if you've a little kid doing it maybe just start that for them and obviously cut with water okay um i'll show you now how to cut the bottle okay first thing to do is cut this um covering off the bottle which quite simple these ones aren't stuck on they just basically peel them off and that's the first thing to do don't worry about that last little bit that's going to get covered with paint anyway that's that um, just pop your blade in and cut along until you've got it started enough that you can then just get your scissors and then use the cutting the top of the bottle off. So here we have the first part that we're going to use the bottle. With this part I just like to cut fairly straight simple petals which open out into a big daisy shape. I find that this works the best but you can cut any shape you want if you want to make you know pointy petals or rounded petals or straight petals whatever works for you okay so there we have that flower which we then need to straighten out and I found the best thing to do is put it on the table give it a bit of a press and that just opens that up and just bring those petals down and basically and just play with that to get the shape that you want okay so we'll be painting that and we'll see how that looks okay um, here's the other part of the bottle we're going to cut off this end here about here to make a rounded petal Check you can see, yep. Just watch it with the knife. Just get it started and then insert your scissors. You may be able to just start it with the scissors. Um, I found that a little harder to do, but if you've got little kids, just help them and do the first cut and then they can get started. Okay, so this is the shape of the bottom. Um, if you look into the bottom you can see it's actually quite thick plastic and um, what I aim to do is I try to centre from here. Okay so with the base piece cut that off um, and now we're just cutting the core. There's actually thicker pieces that um, shape the bottom of the bottle and I prefer to cut those out and use the thinner piece as the petals. You can make the petals any shape you want. Squared, round, peak, 
um, you know, like leaf like or whatever you want, whatever works. And then just take the pieces out that you don't want, simply cutting them away. your fingers oh then you make the water okay Just bear with me because it is see-through plastic we're dealing with. <laughs> you might not be able to see too much, so, but you'll soon get the shape of it once we get a bit of paint on there. But we're going to do shape it first. Now, that one I'm going to leave a bit squared off for a different effect. And I'm actually just going to leave that like that. Um, it's a nice enough flower. And then we'll get painting. Uh, now, for the leafy bit all I did was take the rest and cut a nice piece out that you can use to join the flowers together you can make this any width you want you can vary it and make it the same whatever you like it's going to look very nice Now this would actually look good for Halloween. You could actually do black flowers and have them hanging from the door. Mm, effective. Poisonous flowers. There's the spiral cut and we'll just go get the paint and I'll show you how these are going to turn out. We're going to paint the flower. Um, I think we'll make this one. We might make it blue. Just paint the petals. So kids can do this with you. Once you got them cut, kids can quite easily do the decorating. Okay, then I'm going to do black in the center. Got the black eyed Susan. It's blue. So that one. Okay. Radio. Then our other one. I think we will paint. We're going to paint this one um, red and pink. So, um, start off with mixing a bit of pink. Okay, so that's the pink one. And we've got like a fluffy centre with white and that's our blue one with the black center okay so now we're going to paint the spiral with um, greens and yellows um, and that'll cover up all those bits you might actually cut this in half I'd like to make it a bit bluey green with yellow highlights, gives you a bit more 
interest. Just roughly and thickly painting. So you'll paint all three of those and then I'll show you how to connect um, this up with the hole puncher once they're all dry. So that's one. We're going to paint all three. I'll come back when it's dry and um, show you how that looks. Here's the sun catcher plus the Pascagia wind chimes I've made. Well, this is a video response to Threadbanger. Uh, thank you for the idea for making flowers out of plastic bottles. These are recycled and they just turned out amazing. Um, I'm going 